the second try of writing my bachelor thesis. And if you watch the first part, then um, maybe you think it only can become better. So, in August, my professor contacted me. He may had made contact with a company from Hamburg. They were looking for a student to work with them on a project, and the project was in cooperation with a university from Berlin. And they wanted to create a framework for visual knowledge transfer. That means basically some kind of YouTube, but for companies and in JavaScript. And the idea was that I would work in the project, earn some money and write a bachelor thesis that would be related to that. And uh, I had a phone call with the contact man from the company and he told me that we will start in August. Oh, sorry, it was July before. No, it's August. At the beginning of August, he called me and he said that we could not start yet because the university demanded that the jobs were officially announced. And so they could not just hire any programmers. They had to make it all officially first. But we would start at the beginning of September. At the beginning of September, he called me and said we could not start yet because a woman had applied for the job. So the woman representative from the university has to check the whole process and see if it was fair and so everything and write a statement. And another problem was that the, the committee that decided things for our project just met once a month. So we would have to wait until the beginning of October to begin. At the beginning of October, the contact man told me that we could not start yet because a disabled person had applied for the job. So the disabled representative now had to check the whole process and write a statement. But we would start at the beginning of November. But at the beginning of November, the contact man told me that we would not start yet, but he was tired of waiting for the university. He said that he would send me my contract so I can sign it and we would just start working in December, no matter what the university says. But in December, he told me that we could not start yet because that would break the contract with the, with the university and they are not allowed to do it. And also, um, well, in the meantime, I was starting programming a bot that used a neural network to learn to play Tetris. So in December, I also visited my professor and showed that to him and he agreed that I would write my bachelor's thesis about that instead. Then in March, the contact men from the company said we would start in May. Uh, but then I told him that I would not like to wait any longer and that I had another topic for my bachelor thesis. And then he told me, yeah, that was the right thing to do because uh, they were working on this project for years and it went on for years that the university was slowing down the whole process. And the contact man also told me that the other programmers they hired for the they had hired for the project. They also had to wait and didn't earn money at the time, in the meantime, so, but they had to feed their families, so they were all leaving the project. And uh, the contact man also told me that he was, he himself was tired of those whole project and he was about to quit. And so in March, I registered my bachelor thesis. And at the end of May, beginning of June, it was the day when I turned in my bachelor thesis and I decided to visit my professor. I went to his office, but he was not there. Instead, there was a note on his door 
and the note said that they were looking for a student to work with them in a JavaScript project. And I was really sure to know which project was meant by that. And I just thought, I hope they don't find anybody. Thank you for listening.